When I talk to older people, they know they don't have enough. They feel a bit ashamed that they didn't save enough or they made a mistake early in their lives. So there's a stigma from not having enough in retirement and the stigma comes from feeling that people will blame you. I am Teresa Gillarducci and I'm the director of the Schwartz Center for Economic Policy Analysis at the New School for Social Research. Is there a retirement crisis? Our research says there is, and we hear stories from across America. After paying for electric and phone, I can barely put food on the table or gas in my car. I live on Social Security now because when I got sick, I lost all my savings. And things like, I'm never going to retire, I'm going to work until I die. You wonder why so many Americans are struggling? Well, retirement used to mean you worked for 30, 40 years, you paid into Social Security, you had a pension, you bought a house, and you even paid for your kids to go to college. And at the end of all that, you saved enough money to retire comfortably. Those days are over. Our system fails Americans in three ways. First, half of all American workers don't have any kind of retirement saving plan at work. Second, the most popular retirement savings plan, if they have one, is a 401k, and that plan forces savers into inappropriate investment vehicles. They're high fees and they're short term. And third, we risk outliving the savings we do have. The truth is, the average older worker has only about $15,000 saved for retirement. Workers who are never poor will not be able to sustain their current standard of living in retirement. In fact, 40% of middle-class older American workers will be forced into poverty when they retire. How can we change the system and prevent millions of Americans from falling into poverty? First, we need to protect Social Security for this and future generations. Second, we need to reform our retirement system. We need a universal mandated pension system that sits on top of Social Security. Guaranteed retirement accounts, or GRAs, would accomplish this. A guaranteed retirement account is a personal account that follows you from job to job until you retire. We fund GRAs by employee and employer contributions and a refundable tax credit. The refundable tax credit is paid for by redirecting our existing government subsidies away from the wealthiest Americans. If we implement GRAs now, 8.1 million seniors would be saved from poverty by 2045. It would rectify some of the inequality that we've built up in the society over the past 50 years. It would help alleviate the inequality of a racial wealth gap, of a gender wealth gap, and the fact that the bottom half of the population has not gained any wealth, they haven't even gained extra years of life. Most of the longevity increases have gone to the top. So the GRAs help mitigate some of the growing inequality. We need this kind of bold reform. All Americans should have the right to live with dignity for life.